What's up, Wanderers? We're back with another fantastic bag review, and we're going to do it in one take. As always, you're going to get two things that I love about the bag, two things that I don't love about the bag, and an overall recommendation. And today, we've got a good one for you. We are doing the Urban Sling, the Vertical Sling from Everki. E-V-E-R-K-I, Averki. It's a travel-focused, um, business-focused brand, and I'm excited to check this out with you. So let's get started right after this. All right, we're back, and we are ready to jump into a walkthrough of the Urban Sling from Averki. This is a vertical messenger bag, which is focused on um, a business or professional user. Um, it's uh, very organized and it is also very travel friendly and travel focused. And we're gonna walk through all the features of this bag. Um, and I think you um, may love it, you may not. Let's see what my recommendation is at the very end of the video. Okay, so as always, we're gonna start on the outside of the bag. You've got a couple of things going on here. You've got a leather grab handle. The material itself is a uh, Cordura. Um, I, I'm not sure on the strength of the fabric, but it uh, seems like it's gonna hold up very well. Fairly typical strength, but uh, well-made, well-constructed bag. On the front, you have a very small drop pocket, about the size, a little bit bigger than a three by five card, maybe two decks of playing cards in here. Uh, but what do I have on in here? Just some little knickknacks that are, are easy to grab and grip. So small pocket, uh, half of the pocket is a high contrast orange interior, half is just the black backing of the bag. So that's the only pocket on the front flap of the bag. And so we should talk before we get further about the front flap. So you have a flap that covers the front of this messenger bag. You can see here, see, hello, I'm right back here. So this flap folds down over the main compartment of the bag. It has two uh, click in place, lock in place uh, connectors that you can press on from over these kind of neoprene covers. It's interesting, not really incredibly functional. I don't like it, I don't, it, it's a little cumbersome to get it in there and click it. Um, I think it's to increase the lifespan of the bag and to make it look a certain way. Eh, I don't love it. This flap, is fastened in place by a hook and loop closure that honestly kind of flaps around a little bit and you've got to search to put it on exactly right and then again it creates this massive unsealed situation here so it's interesting it's very different so on the back you've got a luggage path pass through loop very useful, especially since uh, this bag is designed primarily for traveling. So, all right, everybody, let's look in the main compartment of this bag. So first you have a slip pocket up front, a little drop pocket, very slim. You could put anything massive in here, but if you're traveling, you could drop some, you know, cliff bars, um, some pamphlets, little, little stuff in the front of the bag. It is loose again, and there's no seal on this, and it's in that kind of flappy section of the bag, so you wouldn't want to put anything critical in there. The next section is behind the zipper panel, and it flaps down almost all the way open, and this is your admin pocket. So there's a lot to like here, honestly. In this admin pocket, we have a, a drop panel. This one is behind a zipper. You can be a little bit more comfortable. We've got two kind of little sections right here for you to put gear into. Then you have your traditional admin pocket, flashlights, sharpies, pocket knives, pins, and then a sealed pocket over here, cards, etc. 
You could toss something down in the bottom here if you wanted to. There is a little bit of room as kind of a, like a, a de facto drop pocket. Um, so that, that is something you could do if you chose to. Um, and then on this side, the inside of the flap, you have not one, but two mesh bags. So in here you can kind of put some tech, I've got some camera equipment in there, and then this one at the bottom is even more protected, a little harder to grab things out of, but a very usable and useful pocket, I think. Before we move into the main compartment section of this bag, it's time to call out that there are two sealed pockets on the side with hook and loop closures. Um, they are water bottle pockets. Uh, they can't hold anything big. So you're talking like a 20 ounce bottle of water or soda um, or a smaller swell bottle when you're out and about traveling. Um, so they seal, so you could use them for other things, which is nice, um, but they are small and they don't have any give or stretch to them at all. Um, so that you are fairly limited in the type of water bottle that you wanna carry with this bag. Then that brings us to the main compartment of this bag. Um, so it's a little tough to show you. Inside, you have a very nice high visibility orange interior. The back side is a, a soft felt orange fur, faux fur, that's very nice. And then inside, you have a slip pocket on the front. I've got some cords in there. Then you have a main compartment in between the slip pocket in the front. Let's see if I can show you that really well. It's fairly sizable. Um, I had AirPod Max in there and um, you could put easily a folded up coat in there. Um, you could put a bigger water bottle in there if you wanted to, but there is no structure in the middle section of the bag. And you can see kind of how big that can get here. Yeah. And then on the back side, you can slip an electronic device. I put in here an iPad Pro with a Magic Keyboard case. Um, and it's really nice storage. So that brings us to the back side of this bag, an entirely another section that completely folds flat. Those of you who travel a lot will recognize that this is functional for TSA check and a 15 inch laptop. Also with this really nice faux fur pocket um, with a hook and loop closure which seals your laptop in place. You could also put something else in the secondary side if you wanted to. So that's the full walkthrough of this vertical messenger from Everki. Um, I wanna cover two things that I really like about this bag first. So the first thing I really like about this bag is actually the high contrast interior. Love seeing the orange bat, the orange pockets all the way through the bag. Um, love seeing lots of usable storage, um, all in this high contrast orange. Even the water bottle pockets have this orange liner. Um, I, I like it a lot. Uh, I think it looks quality and it separates this bag from the pack. Second thing I like is actually, and I'm gonna leave this open, this section right here. These two mesh pockets up front, the very usable admin panel. I love it. I think it's really nice. So uh, two thumbs up for this admin panel section and these two usable pockets. So those are two things I really like about this bag. Two things I don't like about this bag. Well, unfortunately, I can pick more than two with this one. The first thing I don't like is this entire flap closure. It's just floppy, and when you carry the bag itself, it tugs this way, and it feels like it's always gonna come undone. You have to click both these closures in place on the front of the bag, or else you're just hoping that the hook and loop is gonna be strong enough and it won't just flop open. So this whole front panel, I, the, the, the entire bag would be better if it was without this front panel and it was just this. And it was a, a sealable pocket on the front and then directly into the admin panel without that entire mess of the top flappy pocket. So that's, it's just such a shame because this could be 
an incredible bag. I just think they missed it. They missed it with this flappy thing. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like such a miss. The, the second thing that I don't like about this bag um, is the, the way that it carries, um, which is a big deal for a bag that you're gonna carry around airports, that you're gonna carry a lot of weight in. This bag has so much room to carry so much stuff. Um, it sits really weird against you. The, the strap itself is adjustable, and the strap itself is as comfortable, I guess. Um, but it sits against you awkwardly on, on the side, and it just tugs and digs into your shoulder a little bit. Uh, I, I didn't enjoy wearing this bag, and the, the, the actual handle itself is sewn in place, and so you have to kind of get it situated rather than being able to shift it around like you can when these parts of the straps um, are... Uh, sliding within the strap. So if I wore this bag a lot, I would definitely replace the strap with uh, a thicker kind of seatbelt material strap and a custom padded uh, handle, which would, I think, make this bag a more enjoyable experience. So overall, this is about $120 to $100 bag, depending upon where you buy it. Um, it's got a ton of features. It's got a ton of organization. If you travel a lot, and you've got a tech-focused carry, and you carry both a laptop and a tablet, uh, I can make a case for this bag. You might really enjoy it. But unfortunately, I think you'd be better off buying, if you enjoy the look and feel of this bag, just buy the Atlas backpack that they make. It's only a little bit bigger, and I think you're even if you just carry it over one shoulder, I think you're gonna enjoy that much more than this sling bag, unfortunately. So I think you know where I'm gonna go with this one. Should you buy the Vertical Urban Messenger from Averki? Um, I gotta say no, I don't think it's worth the money. And the floppiness of the bag due to this construction choice they've made with this, the handle being attached to the top of this flappy panel, uh, I just can't recommend it. So there you go, an honest review. I don't like it. You may love it. Let me know in the comments. Do you have this bag? Do you have other bags from Everki um, that you enjoy? Uh, let me know. If you're new here, that's what we do. Honest reviews in one take. No fancy stuff. Two things we like, two things we don't like, and should you buy this bag? So everybody, thanks again, as always, for joining us, um, and we'll see you next time. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you did enjoy like the if you did indeed like the video. Guys, we'll see you next time. Thanks a ton. Bye-bye for now.